God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world, men both high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both, both God and, and mammon. mammon. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, Men will praise me for all my success, yet he will go to join his fathers and will never see the light any more. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men from every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong be by right to the Lamb who was slain. The unmarried man is busy with the Lord's affairs, concerned with pleasing the Lord, the virgin, indeed any unmarried woman, is concerned with the things of the Lord in pursuit of holiness in body and spirit.
the virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. The virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. They are brought into the king's dwelling place amid gladness and joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. Saint Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ ever near her heart. Day or night she never ceased praying and speaking with God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ ever near her heart. Day or night she never ceased praying and speaking with God. Christ extolled those who practiced virginity for the sake of the kingdom. Let us praise him joyfully and pray to him. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her spouse. Keep her holy and inviolate. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, the holy virgins went out to meet you with their lamps alight. Keep the fidelity of your consecrated handmaids burning brightly. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Lord, your virgin church has always kept its faith whole and untarnished. Grant all Christians a whole and untarnished faith. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have given your people joy in celebrating the feast of your holy virgin Claire. Give us constant joy through her intercession. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have admitted the holy virgins to your marriage banquet. In your mercy, lead the dead to your heavenly feast. Jesus, example of virgins, Hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord of mercy, be close to those who call upon you. With St. Cecilia to help us, hear and answer our prayers. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.